Well, when disaster strikes, safety, of course, is first priority, and then it's time to try to save what you can. Not just physical belongings, but memories too, right? And every minute counts. And that's where Minuteman Response comes in. Our Pete Delkis is outside with Matt Payne, the executive director of Minuteman Response. Hi, Pete. Hey, Sonia, and good afternoon, everyone. I am here with Matt Payne. Matt, as Sonia mentioned, the executive director of Minuteman Disaster Response. And I want, I want to have you tell everyone at home a little bit about what you do, then we're going to show them the tools that you have that help people out. Sure. Minuteman Disaster Response is a nonprofit charity based out of McKinney. We were founded after the Joplin, Missouri tornado. And uh, our team it consists of a group of volunteers who spend hours and hours training each year to be able to go out and assist victims and first responders in the immediate aftermath of a disaster. And, and when a disaster strikes, a tornado, for example, you guys aren't necessarily storm chasing, but you guys are following the storm and you have your storm warrant vehicle over here. You're following the storm to be there and help out when that disaster does strike, right? That's exactly right. We have live radar on board, live streaming video that we can broadcast cast back a lot of great tools that allow our guys to be first on the scene and assist with whatever's needed at that time. And, and part of that assist is this this trailer that you have right here. We're going to go inside. Let's follow you inside. And uh, what you guys have, you have a lot of tools, you have a lot of technology that helps, again, assists the first responders like this drone, for example. That, yeah, this drone is one of a few drones that we have. Uh, we've been using drones for the last couple of years in search efforts and these types of things giving aerial damage assessments to the local municipalities. In fact, we actually have a new drone being built out right now with clear infrared technology. And we're going to keep the camera in here. We're going to walk outside for just a second. We'll have a little, little uh, reception problem. But as people are looking around, you can see the different, uh, different tools that you have that assist the first responders that you guys use when you're out in these disaster situations. Right. All of our search gear is in here, our packs that are carry on their back, their overnight gear, whatever it is that they need, their helmets for safety, our radios for communications. We never know when, uh, when a cell service is going to go down, we have the ability to continue communicating. And I tell you what, and if folks want to get more information about Minuteman Disaster Response, they can go to WFA.com, and they can also just Google Minuteman Disaster Response for more information. Anything that you could ask volunteers, if there is anyone that wants to help, what would you suggest with them? Well, you know, there's a couple ways you can get involved. One is obviously with volunteering. We're always looking to add to our team people who have a heart to get out and to help, people that have the skills and the ability to do that. But also from a financial standpoint, there's donors out there who would, would be interested in partnering with us and we'd love to be able to talk to him about that. Okay, Matt, we sure appreciate it. And we're, I hope that we don't have to utilize Minuteman Disaster Response here at Channel 8 uh, as we head through the remainder of storm season, but we're certainly happy that you guys are willing to help us out and keep us up to date on what you're doing out in the field, too. Well, our guys are always ready to serve when the, when the time arises. Okay, there you go, Sonia. Matt Payne, the Executive Director, Minuteman Disaster Response. All right, thanks, Pete. Good information.